Hi, David here from Lancaster Automar A to B. And here we've got 2011 11 plate Land Rover Freelander 2. It's an SD4. And what we're doing in this video is just showing you the condition of the vehicle and showing you some of the features it has. So just to let you know, this is a really tidy vehicle. So it's not even been valeted. It's not been prepped yet. It's just such a good example. We figured we'd crack on with it straight away. So there might be an odd, very light scratch here and there, but nothing we've seen won't polish out. So just starting on the driver's side rear wheel. So you can already see alloys are in really good condition there. There's no curbing going on. And then down the side of the vehicle, really tidy everywhere. And then onto the front alloy. There's a tiny little bit of curbing on the corner of that one, but nothing too major at all around it. And then onto the front, you can see again, paint super clear. I do think the previous owner may have given it a full clean and possibly a valet before trading it in. There's also no clouding on the headlights whatsoever. And then moving around from there, we're onto the passenger side front alloy. Again, very good condition there. As far as the minor little wear and tear items are, that's just the corner of the wing mirror. But again, it does look like most of that will polish out. rear end just got the fourth alloy of the lot again very good condition there and we'll just work our way around towards the boot and you do get parking sensors on the rear with this one so there's four just at the very bottom there and then we've got the sd4 gs the Land Rover badging and the plate is just there for you if you want to get any insurance quotes on it just pop the boot open so inside, as you'd expect, the boot is really large. You also get a pulley style load cover. It just slots into these little gaps at the end. And to pull it up, you just need it underneath the boot floor. Also got a full size spare wheel as well. Very desirable. And then you've also got this little hook as well. So you can actually keep that out of the way if you do need to get the wheel out. So I'll just pop that back under. And then on each side, you've got a very shallow little sort of divot to keep something in you've got a 12 volt power outlet i'll just pop one of the seats down so you can see they don't go completely flat but it's not too far off so you can definitely get quite a lot of stuff in the back there is also a subwoofer in this vehicle as well so you can definitely hear that with the radio on so as you can see plenty of room in the back i'll just lift this chair back up and then there's also 12 volt power outlet accessible to the rear seat passengers and the AUX inputs accessible for both the front and rear. You've got a couple of little storage trays as well. So then into the front, you do get electric windows all around. You get automatic headlights. Then into the vehicle, just slot the key in there. There's a little start stop button here. There you go, into life with no problems at all. The mileage are 96783. So the mileage shouldn't be a concern at all as this has been a very well looked after vehicle. It's also got full service history, two keys. As you can see as well, there's no dust about anywhere. It's definitely been looked after by its previous owner. But onto the features inside then. So you do get a few sort of audio controls on this side and some dedicated phone buttons just on the right. Over on the left, it's literally just your cruise control settings. Then behind the wheel, you've got your indicator start. And you've also got your wiper start there with an intermittent setting. Over onto the centre, you've then got the radio. So on and off for this one here with the volume as well. So if you turn it up, you may just catch how powerful the subwoofer is. And then we'll turn that back down. So there is, as I said, auxiliary input. So you've got aux, that is literally just down there, that one there. So you do get ways to connect your devices up. It does also have Bluetooth to connect your phone. So if you press the phone button, it just says add new phone there. So quite straightforward. Just go back onto radio. So it's a really straightforward system. And this side here is more for your menus. So if you go to menu, you can then flick through and use enter for that one there. So a really nice system, really straightforward. And got dual zone climate control. So you can see temperature all set over there. And again, the other side, if you want to turn it off, just turn the fan speed down to zero there. And then below that, I'll just move the gear stick out of the way and keep my foot on the brake. 
You've then got the different drive modes there and your vehicle stability control over on the side. The gear stick itself, so you've got, well, before we get into that, is automatic obviously, but you've got park, reverse, neutral drive. And then you also have sport mode, so you can just push it over to the side. It'll still be an automatic at that point. It only goes into its actual gear ins when you sort of pull it down or up. So the way it'd work, if you look just over here, there's a little D there. You go over to the left, you get the sport, and then when you go down, you get first gear, and then you can flick through into your second and so forth. So we'll just put ourselves back in park. And then last little thing to cover, you do get two cup holders, manual handbrake, this armrest which is really spongy as well so very comfortable and you get just a bit of storage inside there as well and as i said there's a lot of service history for this vehicle so we've got full service portfolio there the whole book book pack underneath and then loads of invoices as well there so there's plenty of service history for this vehicle and as shown it's definitely been looked after so if there is anything I've not covered in this video, or if there's a little bit of extra info you'd like about the vehicle, don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll see what we can do to help. Thanks. Take care. Bye.